Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here on a glorious, beautiful Tuesday. I have been doing day job stuff all morning. I'm running out to take care of a couple of things before my two o'clock call. And then I will be back at home doing more day job shit. So I'm ready to get back on the road tomorrow. I haven't been out on the road in a while. I booked my hotel and the hotel that I normally stay at. I don't know what's going on in Frederick, Maryland, but freaking everything is booked. Like everything, at least through my app, shows that it's sold out, which I know damn well it's not. But that forced me to find a different hotel. So I'll be going someplace I've never been before, all the way up on the other side of like downtown Frederick. So I'm hoping to be able to explore a little bit. Again, I haven't been on the road, you know, visits since November. You know, like I have to go through and decide if I want to keep taking that big ass suitcase with me. I proved myself that the Peter McKinnon pneumatic bag worked for me to go to Chicago, but I did not bring everything that I would normally bring when I'm on the road. Bean has been gotten. Okay, kids, here we go. I haven't been on the road pretty much since last November, December, and I always used to take this rolling Samsonite suitcase and I have it jammed to the freaking hilt with stuff and people have always teased me about how much shit I take with me when I'm going on the road and I'm like hey I just like to have all my stuff with me but truth be told it's a pain in the ass to carry this much stuff around so I will pack for or usually I'm only out for one overnight which makes us stupid but let's just say however many nights I'm out I take underwear if it's colder, and like a, an undershirt and a pair of socks for every new day. So at this point, I'm only bringing one set of that. I bring a pair of shorts and a t-shirt to wear in the hotel room. And then everything else is toiletries and electronics. In this thing, I also used to carry two pillows because I have my angry spine and I like the pillows that I like. I also have an extra pair of tennis shoes, a bunch of shit for my back. Up here I have like spare plastic bags and I would shove my laptop in here if for some reason I brought it with me. Okay, you see how big of a pain in the ass it is. Now, not only am I bringing this big ass suitcase, but then uh, I would also bring camera bag and I would put a couple of lenses in it, a bunch of lights, chargers, all that kind of shit. So there's number two. Plus I bring a shoulder bag that has all of my files in it, all my work stuff. And then I would stick the company iPad in here. Bag number three. And I'm just tired of carrying all that shit around with me. Plus I would be carrying a filming camera at least and quite possibly a still picture camera. So why did I carry all that shit around? I don't know, because I'm stupid and excessive, but I'm not gonna do that shit anymore. That's why I bought this damn Peter McKinnon pneumatic bag. I now have, other than the laptops, because I'm still using them, I have everything in here that I would be taking other than the pillows. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm also not bringing any shampoo, or soap or lotions or face creams or any crap. I'm just gonna use the hotel stuff. I think I can handle it for a night. In fact, I know I can because when I went to Chicago last week, that was the test for all this shit. I only brought a toothbrush and toothpaste and a thing of deodorant. And other than the mouthwash and the toothpicks and some Q-tips, I did not bring any of that other shit. It is a huge bag with all these different kinds of products in it. And really what ends up happening is that they break open. And that's why I had them all in individual Ziploc bags because it's happened so many times. In fact, that suitcase was filled with shampoo one time. And like almost an entire bottle of shampoo got all over everything on the inside. So I'm not doing that anymore. I'm only going out for the day, spend the night, and then work my way back any one of my six weeks. So there's just no point for me to bring all that shit. The Peter McKinnon bag. This isn't gonna stay there. I'm just putting it on here for show purposes, but I did get this tripod to take with me in the Forerunner. 
I just haven't put it out there because I haven't gone anywhere. But that's where it's gonna stay. Now, if we go on the inside here, I've deemed these as two separate entities, the back and the front, and the back is gonna have all of my camera gear. What am I taking? One small little tripod, just because it happened to be there. A camera strap. One of these uh, multi-plug outlets that has USBs on it as well. The cables that I need to charge my phones and my Apple Watch. One Yolanzi external light and my A7R4, this time with the 70 to 200. And that's it. That's all that's going on this side. The other side is the like clothing and toiletry side. So here I got my toothbrush, toothpaste, the dental picks, my deodorant, and some Q-tips. And then I have my shorts, my shirt, the underwear and socks for the next day. And that's it. Now, what I will put in here, though, once I get uh, done with everything, is that I will put my company laptop in here, including the charger and a mouse. And then the only other thing that I will put in this bag, in the back here, in this little compartment, this little laptop compartment, I will put my MacBook Air M1 and my mouse so that I can edit whatever video I shoot tomorrow. And that's it. This bag in my work messenger bag. And that's it, that's all I need. I do not need to bring the other photo bag. I do not need to bring that big ass suitcase and all that shit. I literally will have two bags. And I think that that's much better and I don't have to lug all that shit around because it's a pain in the ass to pack it in the freaking Forerunner, carry it up to the room, drag it around, bring it all back down and all that kind of stuff for me to stay out one night. This is a year of new and whittled down stuff. Because I have been busy doing day job bullshit, catching up from last week, being gone all week, and uh, just getting ready for this week, and I'm already done with all my shit. And there's no more day job stuff tonight. So I'm all done. I just have to edit this video and post it. I did not take pictures of the gear that I'm selling and post it. Because again, I'm gonna be out tomorrow. I'm gonna be gone Thursday. By the time I get back Thursday, late afternoon, early evening, then I will have some day job stuff to do because I'm gonna start doing it every damn day so that I don't get boggled down like I always do where I was like, I'll just do it later, I'll just do it later. And then pretty soon I have all that shit to do and I don't wanna do that anymore. So I'm gonna do it all that night, put my updates in and all that stuff and be done with it, which is the only reason I'm taking the company laptop with me because normally I don't take it because I'm like, eh, there isn't anything so pressing that they can't wait a day for me to get home. So I'm gonna do it every day. Thursday will be it. I'll be done Thursday night with that work. And then Friday, it's my day to do whatever I wanna do. When I come back this Thursday, Friday will be when I take pictures of, of the gear that I have left, the lenses and the ZD-1s and all that stuff and the A7C, and I'll take pictures of it and I will post it up on Facebook and see how I do. All this stuff, everything that I did, like going to Chicago and buying this bag and buying the gear that I got and getting rid of the gear I got, this, that, and the other thing, I have done with a method to my madness of trying to get my kit down to the minimum of stuff that I actually use and then get rid of all the shit that I don't so that I'm more efficient this year. Then I can spend more time doing what I wanna do instead of spending all kinds of time trying to catch up doing the shit that I should have done that I didn't do because I didn't want to do it, and then not having as much time to do what I want to do. No procrastination. I have convinced myself for my entire life that I work better under pressure. That's why I procrastinate. It just gets down to the fact that I'm stupid and lazy and I cause myself more problems. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. At least I'm gonna try my hardest not to do some of my really bad habits. That would include overpacking for everything, carrying around too much shit, wrecking my freaking shoulders on my neck because I'm carrying bags that have, I just might need that, I might need that. And in the entirety of time, I've never needed it. So that's why I've done all this stuff. Everything has been an experiment and I'm just whittling things away to get down to that minimal kit. All right, that's it, that's all I've got for you. I'm done blathering on about it because I'm sure you wanted to see me pack my suitcase and all that shit. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, 
forward and up.